So you guys know how much I love running in the cold, she says sarcastically. We might have to make do this week. to my channel. I am here in Bozeman, Montana. A little family trip post Christmas to do a little skiing and snowboarding, visiting with some family that live close to out here. As far as training goes this week, not sure how much running I'm going to be able to do. Brought running stuff, but at least here at this cabin, there's just a little bit too much snow right here. It's a little slick. But the cabin that we rented does have an exercise bike, so this is one of those prime moments where you just have to supplement with an exercise bike and do what you can. It is very beautiful here. I will show you our view. here at Bridger Bowl ski area and I would have been attempting to snowboard today but my husband tweaked his back a little bit yesterday and I'm not quite comfortable going on the lifts by myself so I'm hanging out with him while the kids ski and snowboard but I didn't want to share a Christmas present I got GoPro Hero 9 and I was gonna try it out while I was out there attempting to snowboard but maybe I'll take it out and just see if I can get some footage of the lifts and stuff here because it is quite windy and snow's blowing around so I cannot use the Nosmo Pocket. So we'll see what I can get today. going for a little walk. It's um, not quite as chilly as it was um, when we arrived and yesterday. It feels, that sun feels nice on my face. I was able to get a little bike ride in yesterday evening on the stationary bike that our cabin came with. And uh, I don't know what it is about riding a stationary bike, but it feels like really hard. But I was able to do a little bit on that and get a little cardio in. Sometimes exercising on vacation is hard. I wish I could run in the snow, but I just, I feel like I'd fall. I wonder how noisy my shoes are in this snow walking. But this week is New Year's, and I know so many of us, myself included, are quite ready for 2020 to be over. But I do agree with the mindset that you should find some positive to hang on to from this year. The Runners Without Limits podcast, which I'll link all their stuff once again, it's a great podcast. 
their last uh, episode that they did for this year was victories in 2020 where they asked people to submit victories that they had this year to think about those and go back and listen to that one because it's it's really good just to hear that with all the crazy that happened that there's some good for me personally I try to think about how I was able to spend more time with my family and that we were still able to run something that you could do safely which was which was great I achieved PRs and ran a half marathon distance for the first time it can be really easy just to look down on this whole year and be like oh I cannot wait for it to be over but I'd like to remember the good things I found new ways to have my quiet time and found new favorite spots around my house to to read my Bible and do all that. You can go back and watch my, I believe it's my very first video where I talk about how I just fell in love with sitting on my porch swing. Even with all the positives that you can try to think of for this year, it's still, it's been one ridiculous year. And I know uh, at my church, they and it was very appropriate that they chose to do a sermon series to close out the year called God With Us. One of the pastors did their God With Us segment, if you want to call it that, on where is God in the storm. And oh my goodness, don't, don't we all ask that at some point in our lives when something does not seem to be going our way. Where is God in this? And I found myself questioning that this entire year. This all of this crazy that happened between the coronavirus and social unrest and rioting and destruction of property and oh my goodness I mean where is God in that and it's not always a, it's not always an easy thing to hear but uh, my pastor's main point in his message was that as believers we have a hope and that there can be a purpose in it. Not that God causes it. He never wants to cause us pain. But if we let him, there can be such an amazing purpose in it. And we can gain something from it. And he only means good for us. But we have to allow him to do that. That's been something I've always had to remind myself of. Is that I have to allow him to work that way. One of my favorite verses in John. I'm going to make sure I get it right. It's John 16 verse 33. And it's where Jesus is talking and says, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And it's true. He overcame the world, overcame death. One thing I loved about our, we had virtual Christmas Eve service, was our pastors, because it was, they just filmed it ahead of time, they each told a wilderness story. And it didn't even occur to me when I came up with my my Instagram and YouTube name, Wilderness Runner 210, that I could identify with this aspect of wilderness. And they each shared a moment where they were in the wilderness searching for God's purpose and something that was going on in their lives. And it can sometimes be a hard thing. But no matter what, God is always with us even in the wilderness. We just have to know where to look for him and that's in his word it's spending quiet time with him and it can be in friends that can help build you up and offer you encouragement I'm fortunate that I have very good friends there's a song that I heard as we were traveling to the airport actually to come out here it's a song I've heard before, I love it. It's uh, by, for King and Country, called Burn the Ships. And I was thinking about it in terms of letting go of anything in our past. It may be anything in 2020, the pain, the anxiety, the worry, anything like that. The chorus of the song goes like this. Step into a new day. We can rise up from the dust and walk away. We can dance upon the heartache. So light a match, 
leave the past, burn the ships, and don't you look back. And it's completely true. Pain, worry, anxiety, anger, anything we have from this year, all God wants is for us to give it to him and step into a new year and know that all he wants for us is the best. We gotta let him work though, we gotta let him work. So those are my thoughts on the new year 2021. I have goals, first one being to have the most epic virtual 5k I've ever had at Disney. Coming up soon, looking forward to it so much. Okay, for our Monday adventure, we are hiking on the Colby Gulch Trail. I've never hiked in the snow. This is gonna be interesting. That was a good little hike. We got about four miles and the views are awesome. And guess what? I didn't fall. I don't know if it's because I'm wearing snow boots and snow and it just seems to be gripping really well. Didn't fall. Very exciting. So now I'm gonna stop so I can continue my no fall streak. <laughs> Tuesday we're back out here at Bridger Bowl and I am attempting to snowboard. We're actually done for the day but I wasn't quite brave enough to try to pull this out and try to learn to snowboard at the same time. But I did do a little bit of turns which is improvement for me. So um, this is on a GoPro. I didn't bring the Osmo out here today. I just want to practice with this a little bit more. But I'll try to get a little bit more of the ski resort to show you. I just wanted to show off how small my shoes were, my snowboarding boots. A chip bag and a drink, and then he got tenders, and I got a burger, and it was $27. Why is food so expensive when you're skiing? Why? Why is food so expensive? <laughs> this view when you're riding a bike. Getting caught up on YouTube. Hi, it's Sparkle Saturday. Show you what sparkle I'm wearing today. I'm pretty sure I've never wore the uh, white one for a run, so this is the first. Saturday, January 2nd, we arrived back home late New Year's Eve from Montana, so I'm still recovering a little bit from that trip. It's 57 degrees out here right now, and it is, I don't know what time it is, it's like 10.30. So, left all that snow for warm weather. I'm going to try to get in my six miles that I was supposed to do last week, today. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. A little more than a mile in here, but I want to talk about yesterday, January 1st, I did my fart lick workout that I had for this week on the treadmill, obviously you saw a little too snowy in Montana to run there, but it felt awesome. I don't know if 
not actually running for those days it made me feel more refreshed. But it was a good little workout on the treadmill. Wore my new shoes yesterday and today, and I feel awesome. So that is a positive sign as far as my foot problems are concerned. Okay, let's finish this run. done six miles in a few seconds over an hour and 16 minutes took it slow just working my way back into training so between today's run yesterday's run two bike days snowboarding day and a hike or two in Montana it's really not that bad for a training week when most of it I was out of town so with that we conclude week six and we are halfway done with the training plan which means six weeks and counting for my Disney trip. So that's exciting. So I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and always remember that you are his masterpiece. I'll see you next week.